This is the best vehicle that came out of the Star Wars universe. Cool, yeah, cool, 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 cool. Adam and James Gilmore haven't done this since they were kids. That brings back some memories. It's like Christmas. Growing up, they played Star Wars in the backyard. Yep, that's ready for launch. But they don't need to pretend anymore. Good job. All right. Because these days, they're building real rockets. What we're walking past is the very first orbital rocket that's been designed and built in Australia. The All Aussie launch vehicle is called Eris, after a distant planet. She'll be 23 metres tall, weigh about 30 tonnes, and will carry satellites into orbit. The standard response when I say we're building rockets is they think we're crazy, and they just can't believe it. Space, the final frontier. For as long as the Gilmore brothers can remember, they've been fascinated with space. Their granddad was an amateur astronomer. He would take them out into the night sky and talk to them about all the planets and all the stars. I think it's hard not to look up to the stars and be fascinated. As a kid, Adam believed he could get there. Every time I went overseas, he kept saying, Dad, get me a rocket. I want a rocket, Dad. I was thinking I wanted a real rocket. I finally got one in, uh, in Switzerland and I brought it back and it was only about this big, a plastic rocket. You know, I had kind of a pain in my chest to say, well, that's not a real rocket. And I think from that day, I had this thing in me that, you know, I really, really wanted a real you know, rocket of my own. Space got even more interesting with the release of Star Wars in 1977. And I remember being very scared of stormtroopers. We used to imagine, you know, being Jedi Knights and playing with lightsabers. I definitely always thought they were going to space. <laughs> Back then, the idea was laughable. Australia had helped NASA broadcast historic events like the moon landing, but we didn't have our own space program. I wanted to be an astronaut pretty much until the time I finished high school. I was going to become a fighter pilot, and then I just changed and became a banker instead and gave up on the dream. As you can see, Airborne is White Knight and Spaceship One. A few years into his banking career, an international competition caught Adam's eye. $10 million for the first non-government team to launch a crewed spaceship into orbit. I remember saying to all of my friends, this is the beginning of the real space industry. Once, only a handful of countries had the technology to reach space. To the next generation of dreamers, if we can do this, just imagine what you can do. Suddenly, adventurous billionaires were designing, building and launching their own rockets. And on board, billionaire Jeff Bezos. Oh. These people had built really, really profitable businesses in other, in other industries. They'd focused on space. And so to me, that telegraphed that this was an industry that was about to take off. The brothers quit their jobs and Adam used his banking skills to attract investors to their ambitious Aussie startup. In 10 years, Gilmore Space Technologies has raised close to $100 million in venture capital. And recently, it secured $52 million in federal funding to build rockets and satellites. 190 people are working on this rocket and a second launch vehicle. There's never been a rocket company that's successfully launched the first rocket they've ever made. My hope is if the first one doesn't succeed, the second one does. Whoosh, ignition. Throttling up to full throttle very shortly. This is a critical test for one of the hybrid fuel engines which the Gilmores hope will power a cheaper and greener launch. Four of these will power the first stage. Getting good shock diamonds here, that means combustion stability, which is good. Today, more Australian companies than ever are working in space, designing satellites, building launch sites, and we now have our own version of NASA. And we're proud of the Australian Space Agency to be partnering with NASA on its Moon to Mars program, which will see Australia develop a semi-autonomous rover that will go to the surface of the Moon as soon as 2026. If you look up at the Moon and you know that there's a piece of Australian kit wandering around on the Moon, that is very inspirational. But what really excites the Gilmore Boys is the prospect of Australia having its own fleet of rockets. We want to make Australia a space-faring nation. Space is incredibly important to everyday life. People use space technology every day. And at the moment, we are so reliant on 
other countries to provide that technology to us, and we want to change that. And lift off. Whoa, off we go. Go SpaceX. Yeah. Getting their own rocket to a galaxy far, far away has been much harder and taken far longer than the Gilmores ever expected. But the journey to now... Yep. Let's go to space, brother. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> ...has had unexpected benefits. I think it's really special to do something like this with my brother because it's been a really, really hard journey. And to have someone there that you know very well, that you trust, that you love, to give you that support has been fantastic. If all goes to plan, their first rocket will launch from a spaceport in Bowen, North Queensland, before the end of the year. It has four engines on the first stage, one main engine on the second stage, and a little baby rocket engine on the third stage, and it will go about 25 times the speed of sound. I think it's fantastic, I really do. Adam's final year at high school, he got an award, and the award was he was the biggest dreamer. And his biggest dream of all is just over the horizon. We talked about going to space together at the very, very early stages of the company. We knew what a task that was and how difficult that was. And we said, let's not get too excited too quickly. We've got to do this step by step, but the ultimate goal is to go to space. Absolutely, we are definitely going to space together. Dude, come on. Like, yeah. yeah. It's so exciting. Um, I was actually talking to my friend Ben about this and we were talking about how exciting it is because I don't know if this scientifically works, <laughs> but you know <laughs> how like strong start, it, yes. in like most of the rockets they launch from like Europe or North America or whatever, yeah. Yeah. they're going out this way from the Earth right. and we're on the other side of the planet. So we've not launched rockets this way. We don't know what's... So our trajectory could be exactly. completely different. Yeah, you know, he was like, he's like down space. We don't know what's down space. <laughs> We're going to end up somewhere else. <laughs> that's my, to where all the other rockets that's, are going. I don't, this is my friend Ben's theory. I'm excited about down space. So, Michael, are you saying that you want to contact them and say, make sure you've got a steering wheel? Well, <laughs> no, because we want to go that way. We want to go see what's over that. Yeah. I've never seen you so excited about anything. Oh, God, I hope they have better scientists than you <laughs> involved in there. I think that saying they so much to sponsor them, they could go to that fancy restaurant that we were talking about. Well, Just send them get them into space. It, is, it says something, though, about the power of being a dreamer, right? Oh, my God. Like, you know, they often sort of talk about the Elon Musks and the Bransons being a bit wacko and <laughs> possibly, I mean, definitely Elon, Elon Musk <laughs> is a little bit. Yeah. But, um, you know, to, to be that driven and to believe in it that much for so long... Mm -hmm. It's quite incredible. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And to trust that your family can withhold a business together, like that's. Um, mm. I'm just thinking about my sisters would and whether we would be able to do you? it. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Like I think they'd be amazing in yeah. many respects, but, but I think that... they'd be more interested in the restaurant than they would the science. Ah, mm. yes, 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 yes. I feel like it's just like space is just so incomprehensible almost, and I think that if you have actually Australian people, an Australian aircraft or spacecraft that could get there. That also doesn't make sense. It's like nonsensical. So it is a big dream. <laughs>